So this question asks us to write them each as a single trig ratio, then evaluate if it's possible. So first of all, is pi over 4 on your pi plate? Could you evaluate this? Yes. Okay, because what's cos of pi over 4? Root 2 over 2. So this will be root 2 over 2 squared minus root 2 over 2 squared. So it could be possible to do it that way. However, if you recognize the identity, so notice right now that cos squared minus sine squared is the right-hand side of one of these identities. And if you recognize the angles are the same and you have the right side of this identity, that means you can change it and write it as the left side of that. So what would that mean? Well, if cos squared minus sine squared of the same angle is equal to one of the double angles for cos, what's our, what's our angle? Pi over 4. Does this simplify to anything? First of all, is everybody able to see that? If our angle is alpha, what we have here is this formula, cos 2 alpha equals cos squared alpha, that's that alpha, minus sine squared alpha. That's one of our formulas. So in this question, I see this and I recognize that. So then I say I can write this because I have the right side of the formula. I can rewrite it as the left side of the formula. Well, cos of 2 times pi over 4 is the same as cos of pi over 2. Is that on your pi plate? What is it equal to? Zero. Now, in this case, you might have been able to figure that out just as fast by plugging in root 2 over 2 squared minus root 2 over 2 squared. You could find out that that's equal to 0 as well. But I'm going to argue in part B, it is a lot faster if you recognize the identity. Because what's tan of pi over 6? Root 3 over 3. And then you'd have a root 3 over 3 in the top of your fraction and a root 3 over 3 in the bottom of your fraction making it a complex fraction, so you'd have to spend some time simplifying it just to get it to the right answer. But if we recognize that this is a double angle identity for tan, and it's equal to tan 2 times pi over 6, which is the same as tan of, oh, it's not quite equal to, oh, I got, I jumped the gun there. Do you see I got a little excited? I'm sorry, guys. Does it match up with the formula? Not quite. Is it close? What does the formula look like? Tan 2 alpha is equal to 2 tan alpha over 1 minus tan squared. What do we have? We have tan squared minus 1. What would I have to do on the bottom to make a 1 minus tan squared? I'd have to take out a negative. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to rewrite this 2 tan pi over 6 over, and on the bottom I'm going to factor out a negative 1 so that I have 1 minus tan squared pi over 6. Negatives and fractions. If I write a fraction 2 over negative 3, is that the same as negative 2 over 3? Is that the same as negative 2 over 3? All three of those are the same. This is important because I have an identity when I have this. And I didn't quite have that here. And I'm close to having it here, but I have a negative in the bottom of my fraction. But if I write this with the negative out in front of my fraction, then I would have negative 2 tan pi over 6 over 1 minus tan squared of pi over 6.
and that's going to equal minus sine still in front. This part matches up with this. So now I can write minus tan two times pi over six. Two times pi over six simplifies to pi over three, and tan of pi over three is root three. So that was a little bit trickier because we had to factor out that negative. But you've seen that a number of times already, right? When you have that same binomial but just mixed up, you have to factor out a negative. All right, questions four, five, and six.